murdered. We're heading up to uh, the Lake District. We're going uh, to to meet Mark. Uh, he's the, uh, the jolly guy, afraid of wildlife, uh, but likes a pie. Um, we're going up to uh, to wild camp tonight, and uh, this is my first sort of semi-winterish wild camp. Uh, I've taken the the Berghaus tent because I think that's a lot tougher than the the Terra Nova, um, so it's a little bit heavier, but it's going to be roomy enough for me and Bernard. Uh, I've got a new sleeping bag, the uh, the Rab 300, uh, the Rab Ascent 300 that I have been using. Um, I wondered whether it would be tough enough, uh, you know, to go down to perhaps minus three, um, maybe more with wind chill, but we'll find out later on. So yeah, a little bit of experimenting to do this evening, and uh, then we'll I was just saying to Mark, this is uh, me being a, a rubbish YouTuber, we've been on the go catching up, which has been pleasant, but uh, I've done nothing for, uh, well, probably first 20 minutes at walk. So down there uh, is, is it Seathwaite Farm? Yes. Seathwaite Farm, and they allow you to park or camp. They've got a camping barn down there, it's been freshly done out, very worth a look. And we are heading up here. And that's the wettest place in England. The wettest place. The wettest place oh yeah, I mean it was. Uh, you could quite easily get the car bogged down, couldn't we? Yeah, yeah, um, Mark has got 18 kilos on his back, and uh, so have I. So a lot of it's unnecessary, but you need your comfort. Yeah, a bit of luxury. You need, you need a steak. You, need you see, a, a lot of my stuff's for doggy, see. Oh, I will be. I. Right, <laughs> <laughs> <Don't you laughs> let's crack on. <laughs> He was saying. Was this you? He was saying oh, I'm about. Not, I'm not doing any acting in videos. It's only like a documentary. But well, that was that was really good. No, no, I'm not serious. No, you, you, come, come All right. Recently, I was involved in a conversation. The camera shy, no. Very recently. <laughs> you won't believe how recently it actually was. <laughs> um, I was saying this is a learning curve because I've not camped when I, I know it's going to be freezing on purpose, and you know I might have packed a little bit too much. Um, so it is going to be a learning curve and you know the conversation which may or may not have just happened um, for legal reasons now can't be mentioned so that's good um, and here's all yeah still going up and then we're nearly at a flat spot aren't we Mark? Yeah. right just onward the just around the corner just around the corner just around this corner just around this corner is that one of their motivational corners it's very motivational <laughs> Well, I'm guessing that uh, just up here is going to be our our campsite. Um, we've been doing nothing but uh, chatting and laughing and joking and what have you, which is a pretty big part of it. I mean, you know, we're coming up here into this beautiful countryside. No matter which side Burn is at, he always wants to be in front of Mark. Bad puppy. Yeah, good. Um, nice, easy walking. That little wave off Mark there. Um, yeah, nice easy walking, and uh, the weather's holding up. Uh, I saw Michelle earlier. She uh, she couldn't make the uh, the, the Remembrance Sunday walk uh, for her work commitments, but we saw her a little way back. She looked well. She was heading back down to her car. Um, and yeah, it's quite a few people. It's nice. Really enjoying it. And it's a little bit of a stream for you, and a bad puppy. He's not a bad puppy. A stream anyway. How long's it taken us to walk up here? Hour and a half? Hour and a quarter. Hour and a quarter, yeah. And it's been—it's not a bad walk, in at all, is it? 
if we if we travel light the more it's not bad. It, it, it's not it's the same distance again to the top of Gable, but this is Great Gable here then. Yeah, but it's. Um, I'm rubbish, aren't I? It's in, it's in, it's in a, I don't want to. I'd have gone off that way. It's in a kilometre. <laughs> it's, it's, it's in a kilometre, you know. Well, you can go that way. You can go that way. Sneak up through the screes at the top. That's Wind Gap up there. So, up, that, up that ravine? Up there's Wind Gap. Right. Can you feel any breeze at all? I think, if anything, it's coming from this way, don't you? Yeah. It's quite a shot at the It's nice. But we want to get away from this path. Hanging stone there. Push that off. All right. I'll see if we can get that in. Hanging stone. Hanging stone. What's the name of this town then, Mark? Stiehead. Stiehead. Is it a town or just a pond? All right, all right. There you go. There's Mark in close up. There's any ponds in the lake district? It's all right, mate. I ain't got your stomach in, don't worry. What's the only lake in the lake district? Come again? What's the only lake in the lake district? Coniston? Well, what is it? What is the only lake in it's the lake? One. What is it? Don't keep don't don't make me guess it's all a night. <laughs> if I get signal, pal, I'm googling that. <laughs> it's a couple. No, Bath and Thwaite. Bath and Thwaite. Of course oh, it is. Right, it's a wee lake in the lake. District. There you go, children. You remember that for, for, for a lake and pub quiz? We got to breathe in. No, I'm, I've got. That's not me starting. That's me camera and things. No, I've got you on. I've got you on close up, mate. We've got, we haven't got any of the uh, the, the mid riff. <laughs> not that there is any, of course. <laughs> Right, turn this off before I get myself in bother. Mark's justifying why he bought a Hilliberg. I'll tell you why I bought a Hilliberg, right? Not because I'm rich or famous. <laughs> I had to sell two good tents to buy one Hilliberg. I sold uh, Terra Nova Ultra Quasar yeah, I fancy and one Terra Nova Voyager to fund, and I was still money short, and I had to save up a little bit more. Um, that's why. It's on a, it's on a status symbol. <laughs> I got the anthology uh, Paramo patch in there for you, mate, like you, like you asked me to. Well, the Paramo is, is cheap stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's cheap gear, Paramo. It's not expensive. I was having a conversation with We went to go outdoors, which is like a second home for us sometimes. Um, and this lad spotted the Paramo jacket. And he says, oh, what do you think of Paramo? And I said, well, when it was brand new, it was flawless. I said, I washed it once and it's been rubbish ever since. So we're actually on the... Um, we're talking with them. And we might be sending it back. So. Who is? Uh, Lisa and I. Well, remember that bother head with that other uh, jacket? The. Uh... Hey? You got it. Well, you got it on, haven't you? When did you get that? Stevie Wonder is in the building! <laughs> a top to get? toe, Paramo R! Oh, I thought I noticed I had new pants and all. I was singing, I was going to say, Stevie, you got new pants, eh? Come on, is it, uh, come on, you're getting on a bit now, aren't you, oh, Mark? Yeah, come on! <laughs> well, you were talking to Michelle before, but today he's got new pants, I wonder what kind of them are. Paramo, same as me. Just new version. Yeah, these are a year old, but yeah, well. I've only had them on a couple of times, but yeah, yeah bomb, bomb proof. But then I washed them, and we uh, nick waxed it, tech washed it, nick waxed it, and the, the, it hasn't. It seems to have lost its edge. Start to achieve it, get in England, you. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Apparently, you've got to put your Adam more jacket once you've washed it and treated. it. You've got to put it in a tumble dryer. Yeah, you got to heat activate it. Yeah. Heat activate. yeah. Good job, not done. Home for the evening. Bernie just doing a bit of important uh, rock sniffing. There's a sign. There's two tents already over there, and uh, a group of lads that are taking their clothes off. I didn't realise that before I started putting a camera up to them. Uh, so they're off for a swim. That'll be liberating. So yeah, we're going to pitch up now. Not too shabby.
Siehst du aus, dieses Edis, wenn man hier muss? Ja, ähm. Right. Are they, are they for humans or seals? <laughs> no, but um, they're really good gloves. Um, oh, the name. I never, never remember the name. Is it the manufacturer or the style of glove? No, it's the manufacturer. Are they foreign? Yes, they are. And they're very, very popular gloves with mountain guides and things like that. Not around mountain guide, they're very description, but... <laughs> so has it got a lining or anything, or yeah, is it just no. a thick neck? Just one, just one. Pretty shrunk. Um, what, so they won't get any smaller when you wash them? No, no, no. Right. You can get the glove version, and obviously right. you can get the mitt version, which I've got. Right. But mitts keep you warm on the gloves, because your fingers keep each other. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and then the make of them is... Uh, this could be a long video of this. <laughs> in my mind, in my memory. Um, Right, well just do us a demonstration of how you can blow your breath in front of your face. It's quite cold, isn't it? It's cold, my feet's cold. I could deal with a pair of these, it sucks. <laughs> and there's uh, Bernie. Bernie. Well, it's quarter past nine. I've been in, in the tent since about six o'clock-ish, maybe just a little bit before that. Um, had some music on. Uh, Bernie was actually inside the sleeping bag for a wee while. I think it got a bit too hot for him and um, he's now just laid on my down jacket. Quite peaceful, no problems. Um, you can't see your breath in front of your face in here. In fact, I've actually had insects, or a insect, I think. Um, yeah, it, it got in when I was uh, at the door open and everything earlier on. Um, as far as the, the bag, this is the uh, Rabasent 700. I've got uh, merino wool base layer on um, my hiking top, and then this is just sort of a, a soft shell uh, top. And I'm quite toasty. Yeah. Uh, I popped my head out early, well, about half an hour ago, and the clouds come over. Um, no wind. And you look at the actual side of the tent, there's, there's no movement. Um, yeah, so. Everything's going all right. We've, um, we've, we've come down uh, for various reasons, um, we, we wanted to pay our respects, we camped up there, um, the procession of people that's going up is huge, really really positive, um, everybody's all up here for the same reason, um, Mark and I are heading down now, it is going to be a massive procession getting up there later on, this, this must be couple of hundred people up there quite easily, it's fantastic. But let me just sort of, unfortunately I'm going to stay in the shop. Well worth a visit.